Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the smudge tool in Abyss Paint X. The smudge tool does exactly what it says, it just smudges whatever you've drawn on that layer essentially, and it's a really fun tool to use. It can be good for blending or for doing special effects. Firstly, let's get up some colour. I'm going to do some thin lines and some thicker lines. So here I put a couple different bits down, I'm going to be smudging all of those. To actually get to the smudge tool, it's pretty easy to see. It's right here in the items bar and it says smudge on it too. Click on it and you won't really get a menu, it'll just put you right onto the smudge tool. If you go into brushes, you have a bunch of different brushes to use for the smudge. The automatic one, I think, is the pen soft or the airbrush. I find the airbrush one a bit difficult to use, so I'll be going with the dip pen. Right here, you can also see these have the same menu as with the other brushes. You have a size menu right here, and you also have a opacity menu. Think of the opacity as like how strong the smudge will be. Just swipe it there and you will see that it does smudge where you've swiped. If you keep swiping you can make the area more white and it's pretty interesting to see how things can smudge together. If we lower the opacity the, the smudge won't be as strong so it's a bit easier to do gentle things. But if you put the opacity all the way up to the top it will be a really strong smudge as you can see here. You can sort of mix it like a paint if you go in circles with a smudge, which I think is pretty interesting. As you can see with the big smudge it has a bigger effect, and with the smaller smudge it just sort of wipes out the middle bit. This can change depending on what brush you're using or how much strength you have in it. And then it's the same with airbrushes too. Honestly the smudge tool is really 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 fun and I really enjoy using it. It's really good to make new colours with as well, for example if you just keep smudging this then you can get a lighter yellow and that's pretty neat. Or if you kept smudging these two together then it would make some sort of mix. Which again is really really cool. So you can use it for blending or for getting new colours or for just messing around really. I totally recommend looking at all the different brushes here and figuring out which one really works for you because there's a lot of them and it's honestly hard to find a preference, but everyone does its job in a bit of a different way, so in my opinion it's good to look through here and see which one you're most comfortable with using. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, maybe consider supporting what I do. Bye!